Roblox just got exposed. Roblox might be going down on December 1st because of something. Huge new updates have been made to the Roblox client and just so much more Roblox news in today's video that I want to go over right here, right now, in this video that you're watching right now. Yeah, you get the point. But I'm going to do it after I thank my subscribers because if you're subscribed, you're cool. If you're not subscribed, you need to subscribe because we're trying to get to a million by the end of the year and there's literally a month and 10 days left, guys. So like, hit the button, please. This is the home stretch. We almost have it. And now let me stop yapping about my subscribers and let's get to the news because that's what matters. With the first story being a fake tweet that's been going absolutely viral like i saw it a little while ago but uh it seems like more and more people are getting uh their hands on it as of recent because the account that it's parodying actually responded to it if that makes any so here's the tweet that i saw it basically says roblox is planning to add roblox studio to mobile devices android and ios roblox studio is making plans to be launched on all supported mobile devices uh on january 5th 2024 which seems very uh kind of believable if you uh you know haven't used studio before um, I mean, like, how are you going to script on a phone? That sounds terrible, but whatever. This tweet got 88k views, bro, which isn't like a crazy amount. I've seen tweets with more than that, uh, that, that I've included in videos. Like, this is a pretty low viewed tweet, but for some reason, I feel like I've just seen it so, so much. And also, uh, it, and also the original Roblox RTC account replied to this tweet, I believe, saying that it's not real. So yeah, it's just been extra blowing up. I also think this screenshot has been floating around a little bit more as well. So yeah, there's a small group of people that think Studio will be on mobile, but I'm just going to tell you guys that's dang near impossible maybe on like ipads and stuff like that in the future but other than that definitely not on any phones or anything like that uh because yeah it just it's just not feasible but anyways let's move on to the next story because it's actually a bit cool all right and it's basically whenever you join a roblox game there's now a new little banner thing that I'll, I'll try and get a screenshot of where it basically says who is in the game that is your friend but basically if a friend joins you mid game or say you join a friend a little banner will show up on the top of your roblox uh screen that says who is the friend that you joined or joined you etc you get the point and it's actually a very useful little little thing and i i kind of like it like it's such a small little quality of life thing but honestly i appreciate it you know these small little updates make roblox thank you roblox it's a tiny little update editor's note i could not find proof of this update but i swear it happened I, I I don't know. Maybe I dreamt it, but I swear it's real. Anyways, but it's also not the only tiny little update that they've added because apparently a lot of people are getting new menus on Roblox. Not like pause menus, but like in the top right and left of your screen, there's usually some buttons that you can click. And apparently those buttons are being revamped uh, to look a little bit different. Here's like one tweet example that I found saying, y'all get this update lol. And it just shows these two little buttons here. And yeah, as you can see, it, it looks fine. This has been leaked for a while. Like we kind of knew this was going to come eventually. But I've actually seen a couple more tweets about this. For example, here's another tweet. I'm um, at Roblox. What is this? And it's this little menu thing. And honestly, it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty cool. The only bad thing, though, is that this might mess up games because the menu is longer than the previous one that was there. So if devs put like buttons here, uh, it might get blocked. But other than that, it's fine. It's whatever. It's not that big of a deal. And also, this might not even be like a permanent thing on Roblox. They might just be rolling out. They might just be rolling this update out to certain people just to test and see if it works properly. Um, But yeah, I don't know. There's this one where apparently it's broken on certain mobile devices. I'm guessing it's like a RAM issue. So yeah, that's a little menu updates and stuff like that. It just all client updates that are honestly fine. I don't see a big problem with that. But now we can move on to another UI update that is really funny. Okay. So I saw a couple tweets basically saying the exact same thing. And here's just one example. Why is Roblox calling me out for being broke? And it has a screenshot where it says, need more Robux? Looks like you're running low. Oh, that is awesome, Roblox. Just call everybody on your website broke when they have like under a certain amount of Robux. Now me personally, I don't have this warning because I'm rich. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, guys. Uh, so yeah, if you're running low on Robux, it seems like this shows up on your catalog now which is kind of funny like it is a broke alert but honestly it's fine i think it's funny it, it's probably hasn't rolled out to everybody yet but it, it's seemingly rolling out slowly to more and more people and i just think it's funny it's it's funny it's a fine little graphic i guess it's silly it's whatever <laughs> It's fine. And now we can move on to the next story, which is a big one. A big, juicy story, okay? And it, it is Pet Simulator 99. It basically got fully announced yesterday. Here's a tweet just saying the release date, I guess, just to confirm it so you know I'm not lying to you. RBX News tweeted out, Roblox Pet Simulator 99 will release on December 1st. And it has a screenshot. Whatever. You get it. You get the point. Now, here's the thing with this, though. Because this basically means that Pet Simulator X is going to be getting deleted. And, yeah. 
a lot of people seem to have like different opinions on it but honestly i think it's fine because uh, i've seen like tweets about how all the pets are already transferred over to the new game and whatnot so you're not gonna have to like pave to transfer your pets or anything stupid like people were theorizing back in the day and honestly it is just gonna be a huge event on roblox and now we get on to the second part of the story because it seems like a lot of people seem to think that december 1st is going to be the end of roblox's servers because pet simulator on its own is a ginormous video game like huge and you know when they just normally up updated their game back in 2022 it would crash roblox's servers but now they're releasing a whole different new game where people are gonna have to level up you know and replay the whole game so it's like i don't know what's gonna happen here i imagine it could possibly crash roblox's servers because i'm pretty sure blocks fruits had like a big update recently and that got to like a million players and it completely crashed the website and i imagine this is probably gonna get up to a million players as well so yeah i imagine roblox will probably crash on december 1st or they're probably gonna rent out new servers asap uh so they can handle the big surge of players that is gonna be playing this game on the 1st of December. And obviously, since it's a pet simulator game, there's a lot of drama behind it. You know, you get the point already. YouTubers like Bushot saying, I don't get the appeal for this game. <laughs> but I don't know. I think people are just being haters. I'm not a big fan of pet sim either, but you know, it's a new game. It's going to be huge and it's probably going to crash the Roblox servers. And now for the last story, and it is a basically about Roblox being exposed. So basically, there's this admin right here. As you can see, Transient Wave, not a bot. If you scroll down, you can see that they are an admin and they are in the official group of roblox right now this whole thing is kind of crazy all right because if you go to their collections you might actually notice that there's three content deleted items here and you might be like oh so they're an admin they probably deleted these items but what were they you might be asking well it was a dominus see, if i go to shark blocks's video you can see that this is what his avatar looked like and uh, you can see that his outfit cost was only 300 robux which by the way that dominus costs a lot of robux let's actually do a fact check and just see exactly how much robux it costs uh 4.9 million so yeah he was not wearing a real one and uh these three items actually were combined to make that dominus in his avatar back that you get it right you get it now a lot of people have just been saying this is like a huge exposed thing on roblox as a whole because if an admin is being corrupt and wearing a fake dominus what else is going on on roblox you know because this guy's an admin he theoretically could have at least gotten this item banned or just banned it themselves right and he didn't he wore it now honestly i don't think it's that big of a deal i think it's kind of funny to be honest i mean who doesn't want to wear a fake dominus it makes you seem so cool and honestly the item is eventually deleted so it's like it, it's whatever there is a good ending to this the item was deleted and the person was probably kicked out of the program so like i don't know it's not that big of a deal but i've seen so many people actually making this like a huge thing where it's like roblox is corrupt and bad and they're exposed because their admins are wearing fake dominuses i don't know i think it's silly but honestly it's whatever i don't think it's that big of a deal and honestly shout out to this person because that is hilarious i i don't think roblox could have got any worse uh ugc wise but it seems like even admins are just having a laugh at how bad ugc is and for the next story we have please donate to yeah it's real with please donate news tweeting out please donate to will not be a new game but it's a major update to the current game so kind of like if you you guys play stuff other than roblox counter strike 2 overwatch 2 etc it's basically just gonna be something like that but yeah in roblox please donate you get the point right if you've ever played those games and you've seen the the second version of it you get it you get what's happening here and honestly i think it's pretty cool to see um please donate is a massive game and uh i'm excited to see what the future holds